One major challenge with many of the existing social um, assistance programs is the, the creation of a dependency class. Um, in the case of some of the relief services here, they provide monthly commodities that, that are generally used uh, primarily as, a, as, a, as an additional source of income. They're traded, um, they're not practical, and they're not always utilized for their intended purpose. Given that one of the many underlying goals of our foundation is to, to assist individuals in becoming or reintroducing individuals to allow them to become productive and contributing members of society, it's important to ensure that, that the support systems that we put in place are, are designed to empower the individuals and, and not to, to foster dependency or otherwise create a dependency class. Assisting individuals in becoming productive and contributing members of society is not only crucial for the well-being of the individual, but also for the family and the community. So, um, at the end of the day, that benefits the state as well, which, okay, yeah, I have issues there, but that's my personal issue and has nothing to do with the foundation or its official stance. One of the ways we do this is providing education based on the aptitude of the individual, um, offering skills, training, and even tools and paid employment opportunities, and additionally incorporating life skills training through the rural development centers. Um, in this way, the foundation hopes to promote self-sufficiency, resilience, and long-term individual, family, and community success. Integrating the results of years of study regarding the existential nature of humanity, including the psychology and the philosophy, um, enhances the capacity of the individual for, for a better understanding of themselves and their place in society. Um, this will ideally contribute to a, a smoother transition and more viable outcomes, um, allowing them to integrate to such, such um, social levels, locations, and even individual positions as they may desire personally, um, or, or, you know, as it may be decided at the family level. So, you know, again, the, the efforts are, are integrated and implemented in such a way as to promote freedom and individu individuality without, without creating dependency upon the system itself. While education may be the cornerstone of personal development and societal progress, traditional educational systems often, often follow a standardized approach that may not cater to, to the diverse talents and interests of individuals. I, I think I've mentioned my father-in-law before who, who cannot read a book, but he can look at a complex piece of equipment and generally within 15 minutes explain to you what its function is and, and, and actually how it functions and how it works and can initiate a, a great deal of the necessary repairs to keep the equipment operational. So, you know, Aptitude and skills are not always are not always neatly aligned in some scholastic little checkbox in in some you know container in in the ivory halls of academia. But by shifting the foundational education approach on individual aptitude um, through the variation of the Waldorf Steiner program. Uh, the foundation can, can ensure that individuals and families are, are better equipped with the skills and knowledge necessary to thrive in, in their individually selected fields of, of interest and fields of study. This approach involves identifying and nurturing each person's unique strengths, passions, and learning styles, allowing them to pursue the paths that, that align with their abilities and aspirations and giving them real choices to pursue those paths, uh, you know, in such a way that they are more likely to enjoy uh, a, a certain level of success. The idea is, is to give people and to give families a choice and not to force them into the position where they're, where they're forced to make unpleasant decisions. So, in addition to providing the education, um, it's also necessary to provide access to tools training and ultimately even uh, even the paid employment opportunities through the through the commercial ventures owned by the foundation 
Um, these employment opportunities will be necessary for providing real-world skills and providing a, a real-world work environment where people will gain experience and knowledge that, that's invaluable in their pursuits in life and at the same time um, ensures that that 70 percent of the commercial proceeds also are returned to to humanitarian and infrastructure programs that further benefit the community um, the the importance of the hands-on experience and, and Wow, lots of traffic today. The importance of the hands-on experience and mentorship programs um, bridges the gap between theory and practice, enabling individuals to gain, gain insights and confidence in their skills and abilities. Paid employment not only offers financial stability, but also instills a sense of pride and purpose, reinforcing the importance of personal responsibility and self-reliance. This, again, extends to the family unit and... and and to the local community as a whole. The life skills training also plays a vital role in preparing individuals to navigate the complexities of modern life. From financial management and communication skills to problem solving and resilience building, life skills will be taught in the local rural development centers to equip individuals and families with the practical tools and the mindset needed to overcome the challenges that they face in the local community and in the world as a whole and provide them with the skills to take advantage of the opportunity when it arises. Uh, you may or may not have seen that quote. We believe that luck is nothing more than being adequately prepared to take advantage of the, the opportunity when it, when it presents itself. So by, by integrating life skills training into educational and vocational programs, our foundation will allow and encourage individuals to make better and more well-informed decisions build healthier relationships and be more capable of adopting to, to changing circumstances as, as they are effectively weaned off the, the many challenges they've experienced in, in such an impoverished lifestyle. The Rural Development Centers also serve as hubs for community empowerment and economic development, particularly in the underserved areas where these programs will be most frequently introduced. By offering localized programs tailored to the specific needs and priorities of the rural communities at the local level, these centers will serve as a means to stimulate economic growth, create jobs locally, and improve local living standards for local residents, most notably um, uplifting and empowering the most vulnerable members of the local communities. From, from agricultural training and small business support to infrastructure projects and environmental conversation efforts, and the introduction of the permacultural solutions, large-scale livestock, and the associated jobs programs, the rural development centers will, will play a crucial role in building resilient and sustainable rural economies. Also, ensuring that, that localized programs are established in accordance with local needs is essential. Um, this is necessary for maximizing their impact and the relevance to the local communities. By engaging the community members directly um, through the social support services team in planning the implementation and even pre-planning and the evaluation of the programs to ensure that they are suitable and meet the requirements of the local community, um, beneficiaries of the programs can, can ensure that initiatives uh, address genuine priorities and capitalize on local resources and expertise. This participatory approach fosters ownership, accountability, and sustainability, leading to more effective and enduring solutions and will be accomplished with the cooperation of social support services team members, as noted, who will be elected by the local community at the local level and who will provide an enforceable and weighted voice at the national level where the decentralized um, central authority, for lack of a better term, um, their wider reaching uh, selection progress is actually voted on and approved. So, you know, again, giving the local people an enforceable voice at the, at the national level is imperative for success. Integrating the study of the existential nature of hu humanity, in including both the psychology and the philosophies um, behind those practices into these support systems, uh, the foundation can help to increase the understanding of the individuals 
and the family units uh, and the place that they're 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 not their designated place in society but their position and their potential benefit to society and provided with the knowledge and understanding of how the the improved societal function also further improves the the quality of the family life and the quality of the life of the individual so by exploring the fundamental questions about identity purpose and meaning our foundation will encourage individuals to develop a deeper sense of self-awareness and resilience enabling them to better navigate life's challenges with more clarity and purpose um, the insights from both the psychology and the philosophy of this approach allows the foundation to work towards a more integrated and adopted design for more meaningful and localized and direct support systems the, these systems should prioritize holistic well-being and human flourishing and, and foster a culture of empathy, understanding, and mutual respect at the same time that they encourage a deeper level of, of the community obligation and involvement by the beneficiaries, uh, as well as stressing the, the potential benefits to the individual and to the family unit by, by undertaking such a holistic approach. Again, the idea is not to force people to change. The idea is not social engineering. The idea is to give people a, a sufficient level of knowledge and understanding to encourage them um, to have the desire to assist. If somebody's always going to have um, a more negative outlook or a more uh, anti-societal outlook, they're not going to become productive and contributing members of the society and ulti ultimately you don't want to allow them into a position where they can unduly influence that society so lots of drugs despite the despite the need to to encourage the individual we cannot force the individual we do not want to engineer the individual but rather to to empower to acknowledge and, and to encourage the individual and the family unit to work for, for the benefit of the family, for the benefit of the community, and ultimately for the benefit of the state and society as a whole. Assisting the formerly most vulnerable members of society and becoming more productive and contributing members of society requires a, a comprehensive and holistic approach that that addresses both the root causes and the symptoms of multi-generational poverty and all its systemic complexity and at the same time simultaneously. Uh, this includes addressing educational issues, um, issues with local employment, life skills training, opportunities, and even as the program continues, more localized community specific growth and development. By, by providing education based on the individual aptitude, offering the tools, training, and even paid employment opportunities, and incorporating the life skills training through the rural development centers, our foundation will assist these formerly vulnerable members of society, their families, and the local communities in achieving their, their full potential and encouraging them to contribute to the common good without forcing them at the same time that they are improving their own lives and understanding, better understanding the benefits uh, of working for a stronger and more cohesive society and how that benefits the individual and family. So, as always, if you'd like to know more, we'd love to hear from you. Please do not hesitate to let us know. Um, leave a like, subscribe, um, comments are definitely welcome. We'd love to get into to a more expansive discussion with you. Thank you. Bye. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below.